to me, ambition just means the desire to do new things and get things done. Um, it could be within your working life, um, within yeah. creative projects, um, within you know building new stuff, um, building new communities, whatever. It's just for me, it's it's about having a goal to do something and deciding yes, I can do that and I'm going to go do it. Mm -hmm. So, are you ambitious? I consider myself ambitious. Okay. I think probably in the past I was not ambitious. And in the last few years, um, I've, you know, been surrounded by people who perhaps are more ambitious and who have done really amazing things in their life, and it's made me, um, I guess, it's rubbed off on me. Some of my teammates, I think that I work with, are incredibly ambitious people. Um, uh, I consider Anna Gunther to be a really ambitious person. Yeah. <laughs> um, she is driving Pledge Me as well as doing an a whole host of other amazing things as well yeah. um, and she does stuff that people don't really necessarily think of as things that they should go and do like creating a list of amazing women in New Zealand it should be just crowdsourced that and has this list of over 500 women on there now so um, things like that really I think what would enable me to perhaps be more ambitious is just remembering that everyone's only one person and it's you know, anything that anyone has ever done or that's ever been achieved in the world was because somebody decided, I'm going to go and do that thing. I'm going to build something that didn't exist before or I'm going to, um, you know, I, I'm going to break the mould on something. Mm -hmm. and, and that was just one person who made that decision. Maybe they rallied some people around them. Maybe they had resources. Um, but basically, at the seed of that was a decision that said, I'm going to go and do that thing. Mm -hmm. And do you have any observations about how ambition is viewed in New Zealand? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> um, I think large parts of New Zealand still, unfortunately, do suffer from a tall coffee syndrome. Okay. We do, um, we do have this hangover, I guess, from, um, from previous decades and previous years where the egalitarian uh, New Zealand society that we have in our minds meant that you didn't need to strive for, you know, to, to be the best at anything. Um, just doing a good, hard day's work was enough and you would be looked after. Um, that's often not the case anymore these days. And so within a working sense, I think those who do strive to go and do, um, you know, really cool stuff or build something new um, can sometimes be viewed by others in New Zealand as, um, well, I don't know, getting above, get, you know, getting too big for their boots or, um, or yeah, thinking they're better than other people. Mm -hmm. Whereas I just see it as um, looking at yourself and deciding what you want to achieve and not really caring about what anybody else thinks about it. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably worse in some areas of New Zealand than others. Um, I think largely in the big cities, ambition is viewed much more favourably. Mm -hmm. um, but also, I mean, I think... You know, we, we have this word ambition and we have all of these ideas in our head caught up with what the definition of that is and I think for the most part people view it in a career sense, in a working sense, mm -hmm. whereas um, I think ambition for me um, has largely been focused around creative projects. Right. Um, so really I think, um, and similarly there, you know, we see tall poppy syndrome there as well, mm -hmm. um, particularly when you're going out there and, and you're sort of putting yourself out and making a name for yourself, um, there can be that, that tall poppy, like, mm, you know, mm -hmm. think you're all that yeah. attitude. We still have that here in New Zealand. <laughs>